Some days are kind of rough. They just suck. You know, you wake up in the morning and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, it's another day. And you're just like, oh, fuck, you know, I have another day of work. I've got all these things that I have to do. You know, it just kind of feels like a drag and like you don't have much to look forward to in your life. And it can really leave you down like this negative spiral and it kind of builds up momentum and you just keep passing days like this in this negative kind of mindset, just like, oh, I just have to get through today and then I'm gonna fall asleep in bed and then it's gonna be another day tomorrow and all and this kind of thing. And it just feels terrible. But then you kind of get hope because you're like, I don't wanna live like this anymore. It gets to a point where you're just like, is there another way out? Like, fuck this, I just want something better. And so you kind of get this hope and you find like there's answers out there with this self-help and self-improvement kind of ideas. And life could be better out there, you know? Like, progress feels good and maybe you get some, maybe you can keep it going for a while and then you feel good and you start to get some benefits from it, you know? You start getting more views on your YouTube channel, you start getting, you start seeing a change in your body from eating healthier and working out more. And then, you know, since your habits are so ingrained, some of them that aren't very healthy or good for you, sometimes you just fall back down into your vices, whatever they are. And, you know, you're like, why, why the fuck did I do this? Because I thought I was going to change and now I'm just back here sitting down like, oh, fuck, it's another day. And, you know, this is kind of just happens this up and down, you know, that's kind of how life works often. And you can particularly see this in other YouTubers, you're like, oh, they look like they have it all sorted out. They look like they know everything and that kind of thing. And they're just getting on and their life is amazing all the time. And we see like all sorts of YouTubers from like Matt Diavella to Better Ideas and even like in the self-improvement kind of niche area, like Hamza, who's become very, very popular and is now coming in and saying like, oh, you know, I still have these addictions and these kind of things that I struggle with at times, even though he's built, you know, an amazing physique, he's built this amazing business, he has lots of money, and he would seem like a quite successful and accomplished man. He still kind of has problems. And, you know, these people like fall off and we fall off all the time. And we don't really see that because it's not really portrayed as much and not really talked about as much. And, you know, life can be quite difficult and, you know, we kind of had this ideal and it becomes particularly like insidious, like our life should be better. They should be easier to do these kind of things and I should be feeling a lot better. But the thing is that we kind of have this emotional side and that side is the one that's actually in control, not our intellectual side that can think, oh, if I work out, then I'll look better and then I'll feel better about myself and I'll eat cleaner and I'll feel better and I'll have more health and all these kind of things. And you can intellectualize about it, but as I've said, you know, in my stages of understanding video, knowing is not enough. And that's because our emotional side is actually what's in control, you know? Like when you go and you reach for the comfort foods, you know, the junk foods, whatever your thing is, or even when you go to pick up um, video games again, you know, when some people can do that and they're fine, but for me, I often find that when I go to those things, I'm not in the best mood and I kind of do it to relieve my stress and my anxiety that I'm feeling because I have this emotional kind of need and that's how I've attached to it. And that's how I've learned to cope in my life. That's how I've learned to get through because when you feel terrible, you know, you just want something to kind of change it. And if you haven't learned any other ways and you, this is the only way that you know, then that's become the ingrained and habitual way that you kind of fix these kind of problems. And, you know, this, uh, these kind of emotional problems, they have kind of like this core. It's not that you're a binge eater or that you're a video gamer and that's a bad thing. It's that these things fix something inside of you that you need, they give you something that you need. And you have to kind of dissect and find out what those things are. Like with food, you know, that gives you a lot of comfort. It makes you relaxed and feel less stressed out. 
So maybe you need to see if you can change that into meditation or having a talk with a friend or just find something that works for you. And, you know, we've got to really find where this core thing is so that we can understand it and find out why we do it, the things that we do. And that's, I think that's what life is really at the moment. It's just trying to understand yourself a bit more, get to know yourself more and each day, just try and be a little bit better and understand yourself a little bit more. So then you can kind of see why you do the things that you do. And there's always more to learn and improve about yourself and in life. And, you know, we have to try and relearn and change the course to healthier kind of patterns because it's very insidious to keep going through this negative spiral. And, you know, I've felt it a lot when I go into these up and downs, I'm like, well, fuck, I've been thinking that I'm going to self-improve. I do it for months. It works well and I kind of feel great. But then all of a sudden I have something shake me up emotionally and then I'm back you know, eating comfort foods, eating impulsively, whatever I can, whatever's around me and whatever's easiest and spending most of my day playing video games or watching movies or whatever. And, you know, especially in this past week, I've found it kind of hard, you know, like in the morning, I'm like, all right, I just want to do these kind of things and build up these habits. But then I kind of finish them because I've just, I just do a little bit and then I'm like, well, what do I do for the rest of the day? You know, like I'm not really feeling that great. And then I end up just watching a movie, um, binging on YouTube. And then just when I go into that kind of mindset, then I'm like, oh, you know, I'm kind of hungry, but it's not even that I'm hungry. It's that I need these foods, whatever it is, the sugar hit and or these cookies or these, you know, these Doritos or whatever that are going to make me feel a little bit better. And then from there, you know, I end up eating too much and then I spend, you know, too long playing video games and that kind of thing into the, into the night. And this pattern is like very insidious and it can kind of give you a defeatist mentality, which is what I was trying to say, is that when you're in your down spiral, you're like, well, fuck, it just keeps coming up and down. So, you know, I may as well just give up because, you know, there's no hope for me. There's no hope that I'm going to be better. And it's very easy to think these kind of things. And it's very sad to think these kind of things. It's a very dark place to go. And so what I've just been trying to do is in the morning, just be productive, you know, start my day off kind of on a better, on a better note, you know, doing what I should be doing, doing what's good for my body, doing what's a duty for myself and my life. And, you know, working on projects, you know, I've been trying to write. I've had ideas for books because I really just love reading it just really soothes something in me and I just feel better when I read like a fiction book it kind of sounds weird but that's kind of like one of my things and I thought it'd be really cool if I could write my own book but at the moment I'm just focusing on writing every day whether it turns into a book or not it doesn't matter I just want to have kind of these projects that I'm working on and trying to build these healthier habits rather than just consuming YouTube, watching movies, what playing video games and just kind of wasting away and then feeling worse and worse about myself. And as well as just trying to be a bit more productive in the morning, you know, and making these tasks easy and enjoyable, because I think that's one of the most important things is, you know, as I keep saying, if you want it to be sustainable, you have to make it at least easier. It has to have a low barrier. Otherwise, you're going to be like, oh, you're sitting on the on the couch kind of in this in-between moment, like, oh, do I open up Netflix or do I go and work out? And you're like, well, the, the remote's right there and I don't really want to go and do a one hour workout now. So I'll just do it tomorrow. And that's why it's so important to just have a low barrier. Like all you have to do is just a couple push-ups, and you're like, all right, I'll just do a couple push-ups, and you do that. And you're kind of like, oh, that didn't quite feel like enough. So maybe you do a little bit more. Or maybe you don't even do more. Maybe you just do like five push-ups and you're like, all right, that's it. You sit on the couch and you watch Netflix and you enjoy it. But then there's still like a maybe a little bit of guilt there or maybe there's no guilt there. But at least you are reinforcing this kind of thing and nurturing this new seed in your life. Because this idea just came to me just then, you know. Like think about um, playing video games, playing net, watching Netflix or whatever or eating comfort foods you know you've grown these trees to be big and massive you know they've grown you've grown them over so long you kept watering them 
if you're like me, I'm sorry I keep saying you, what I mean is me, like if I keep watering these kind of things then these trees are massive and they've grown so big and they take up such a big part of my garden or my forest or whatever you want to call it. Whereas kind of like these working out things, habits and doing productive stuff, you know, they're still young kind of seedlings. I still need to keep growing them and nurturing them and let them grow before, you know, I cut down these trees and kill the forest. Well, that was a great analogy, but that's just me getting full of myself or whatever. Anyway, another thing that I find very <laughs> important is to acknowledge your feelings and kind of realize where they're coming from and try to work with them. Like in the morning, I just wake up and I start journaling and <laughs> pretty much all of my journal prompts first in the morning is like, oh, another day, I'm so fucking tired. And you know, maybe that's sleep, maybe that's diet. There's all these different factors that kind of come in and can affect and influence us rather than just like, oh, I didn't get enough sleep or, oh, I didn't eat healthy. It's like all of these different inputs, you know, like how, who did you see today? When did you feel stressful? How did you feel doing this? How long did you walk? When did you see sunlight? It's just all these kind of things that we can't even comprehend, but we just get stuck like, oh, I it's just because I have a shit sleep, but that's only because that's all that you've been focusing on. I keep going in tangents on this video, so I hope you kind of coming along with me but I'm going to bring it to a close soon. The last thing that I want to say is that you want to track these kind of habits like this sheet back here for my workouts I find it beneficial you know at times I'm like oh I don't really want it and sometimes I just scrunch them up and chuck them out I'm like oh this doesn't matter but just having tracking it down or just having a journal and doing like the what do they call it the dot journal method or I forgot what it was called, but just writing down a list of the things that you want to do or writing out something like that, a checklist, and then just ticking it off or not ticking it off if you don't do it. And then looking and reflecting on it and each day, just trying to do these kind of things. You know, some days you may have more, some days you might have less, some days you won't tick them all off, some days you tick all of them off. And, you know, it kind of just reinforces this kind of thing like, oh, I'm creating conscious control to kind of choose the direction of my life, choose who I want to be, choose more how I want to feel. And this has like a very profound impact on ourselves and can kind of build this momentum, you know, up. So then you can have proof that you have built the skill, that you are a confident person, that you can face your fears, that you can do these kind of things. And the last thing I just want to say is that just explore with this and have fun and just find out kind of what works for you. This is just what I've learned, what I'm trying to implement at the moment. It'll probably change in the future. It has changed in the past. And, you know, be kind to yourself, especially when you fall down. You know, don't hate when you fell off, you know, because these things happen for all sorts of reasons and you just got to have compassion for that because it's very easy to spiral back into negative and that kind of negative thing like, oh, I should be better than this. You shouldn't be doing that. You're such a terrible person. That is what's driving you into the addiction in the first place, you know? And it's what's driving you into the dark hole. And so just acknowledge it, say, all right, I kind of fucked up here. It wasn't the best thing to do, but I can move on and keep learning from it. I know that I don't feel great for it. I know that I feel better for eating cleaner, taking better care of myself and that kind of thing. I'm just gonna do what I can now and keep trying to improve day by day. And I think that's a very beautiful and nice mindset to kind of instill in yourself, especially for me because I've had so many negative thoughts and negative beliefs about myself and just hating myself all the time. And these things are not very productive, and not very helpful. It's like the cliche, you know, it's not about how many times you get hit and fall down. It's about how many times you get back up. So I'll leave you with that. Um, thank you for watching, especially if you watched all of this to the end, because this was kind of a rant video. Um, comment if you like. I don't know, reach out to me if you'd like. You know, I have my Instagram, which I check at least once a week, and then email me or whatever. Yeah, I just hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next video.